welcome to Barbaria. So, as I said last time, I need to find some roses for to make some red dye. Red dye number two, possibly. No. Um, anyways, I figured if I am going out into the world, then I am probably going to want a little bit of protection. Not that kind of protection. Get your mines out the gutter. Talking about armor. Now, I do have enough that I could make, you know, diamond armor outright, but eh, maybe when I have enough experience and enough bookshelves to make enchanting a set of diamond armor worth it, I will go to diamond armor. But at the moment, iron is good enough for me. I am also going to craft myself the last set of tools I hope to ever need. Now, we all know that that's a lie. Um, I may not even have the chance to finish using these before uh, they're taken away from me by some sort of horrible beast. I'm going to keep the iron on me in case I have to make any more down the road. Now, since I'm going wandering, may as well use this as an opportunity to fill my map out a little bit. Let's get this all kind of rearranged. I will probably need the axe more than I will need the pickaxe. Uh, this I actually want to put over here. And food, torches. Let's suit up. There we go. Looking all tough with my watermelon. Wait, hold on. There we go, yeah. Glowy, shiny sword and everything. So, what does our map have to tell us so far? Oh, nothing, because we ain't been nowhere. Alright. Now, the center of the map is always going to be spawned, so I can find my way home without too much trouble, but I think I'll put a beacon down before too long. I'll just follow the coast for now, I'll track some sheep down at a later time, because we've got to get a sheep farm going. Apparently, when you breed the sheep, they will... Oh, hey look! The sheep are eating the grass they're eating the grass in order to regain their wool. And that's important because that means that I'm actually on the second beta pre-release thingy, whatever it's being called. Anyways, yeah, the, hold on here, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Yeah, uh, 11 week 49A. They're going by weekly builds now, so I figure what the heck, I'm, uh, already used to beta testing it, so I may as well continue with that. And there's cool new stuff, like these uh, oak trees have a chance to drop red apples. So let's see if this one does. I haven't picked up anything yet. Sounds like I'm picking stuff up. Sapling. Anything? I'm gonna take down another one. I never have too much wood, and I gotta break this axe in a little bit. I would look quite the fool wandering around with a completely undirtied axe. Come on, apples supposed to maybe give me apples. What if I encourage you a little bit, hmm? Well, I haven't seen an apple yet. Less saplings than I'm used to seeing. 
Okay, I have too many of them anyways. Hmm. Ah, regardless. This is not the quest for apples. This is a quest for roses. So that's, uh... Well, okay, that could have taken a little bit longer. One, two, three. <sighs> well, okay, at least it was more of a quest than, uh hitting the grass with bone meal, but kind of disappointing. Let's see what's in this cave. I like caves. Got plenty of torches. I got stuff. Yeah, we're good. And if I die and lose these roses, well then, that'll be an excuse to go on a longer quest for roses. if this cave complex will connect to all of that funky everything that's running around under my base. So some more iron over here. Ooh, more coal too. If this turns out to be nothing, I don't want to have to come back out here just to get resources that I left behind, so I might as well pick them up while I'm here. Dead end. This looks a little more promising. in my inventory. There we go. What? What is that other sound? I hear the clattering of skeleton bones. I hear the hissing of an angry spider. jumped a little bit when that spider came at me. I know there's a skeleton around here somewhere. there. Ha ha ha. That is what I thought it was. Hey, Ender Dude. I heard him whip back in. Where is he? Where is he? go. There's a creeper down there. Why are you running away from me, buddy? Thought you ender dudes were supposed to be, like, tough. 
Oh, there you are. Now you're a little tougher. Yeah. Aw. Uh, he's hoping for an ender pearl. Well, alright. I don't have any blaze powder anyways, so... I guess that might be a non sequitur to some people. Um, when you add blaze powder to an ender, uh, ender pearl, you get an eye of endar, which can then be used to. Um, hmm. I'll bet this is my abandoned mine shaft. Yep, guarantee it. Uh, anyways, you add blaze powder to that ender pearl, and you get an eye of endar, which can lead you to um, finish the thought, spit it out, can lead you to the stronghold. A stronghold. There are many strongholds. And where did I put that? There we go. Okay. I don't really want to come down here just yet. I'm not quite clear over here. some other stuff over here. Isn't there iron when I... more iron? No. That was down there where I found the ender dude. Yeah, yeah, right here. I hear a zombie. I saw a creeper over there. I probably shouldn't have my back to the door. Time for you. Dig an iron. zombies down. Oh, there's more abandoned mine shaft down there. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Nope, it's gone. Uh, I wonder if that cobblestone down there is indicative of lava? or something more sinister. I'm going to block that up. I don't really like it there. Oh, and eat. Heavens bar, you're starving. You're wasting away. Anybody here? Okay. Oh, you know what I should do? Instead of just making that go away, I may have use for it later. Hmm. Was that? Where am I now? Okay. Ooh. 
Whew. Saved by my lightning quick cat like reflexes. That almost lost me. I'm um, good. I'm good. As always, it's a little nerve wracking being in a cave. These are dangerous places. far down yet. Okay, we're okay for now. That was just the sound of me walking on the gravel there. Oh, crud. Familiar territory of a sort. That's what I thought to find there. Oh. Actually, that wasn't as bad as I thought. if we just sort of nick back through here. Not even worry about that water. Doesn't affect us. Don't like all this stuff above me. Skellies. It's coming from over there. Maybe? Sounds maybe up there. Where are we? Under the ocean, so... Yeah, I sort of suspected that. What have we here?
see here uh, how to best attack this. That's not something you see every day. to that cave. Another entrance over there. I guess I should like mark this off somehow. Eh, that'll do. So now what I also find interesting is that both of those cave mouths were like right next to the red flowers I was looking for. Was this predestiny? Was this fate? Or was it just some weird random BS coincidence? Which is, let's be honest, far more likely. Moo. Exactly. I didn't know I spoke cow. Okay, one more try to get a red apple, and then I'm going to head back to base and uh, call this an episode, and then get to work on my plans for the red dye, and all the other dye, and everything else. Sheep. I should go get some sheep. There are sheep here, but I don't have any grass yet, or any wheat yet. If I had a hoe on me... No, it's okay. It's better to just go back to base and handle it from there. Hmm. That's irksome. Not only did I get the red apple that I had thought that I was going to get, I didn't get any saplings out of that either. Moo! Ooh, I have a lot more cows. Ooh, and a bunch more reeds. Oh, and just a note on this uh, pumpkin and melon setup that I got going on here. Um, it's fantastic. Let me go grab a hoe and I will show you what I mean. Uh, hoe? Who are you calling a hoe? Oh, I got a lot of crap while I was out, didn't I? Uh, looks like there will be an inventory sort between episodes. Okay, now this next thing I don't like. See? It doesn't go away anymore. I don't care for that. I find it irritating. I don't like it. Uh, I think I have enough pumpkins for the nonce. So I am going to... Four? Four? I know I have it. One, two, three. Yeah, I have four. Okay. So I have enough pumpkins that, do that, and man, I need to clear this out. Anyways, walking on the tilled soil doesn't do squat anymore, which I don't like. Uh, gravel. I don't want gravel. Um, like, we had to do the 
whole you know shift thing we had that and if monsters walked on it or other bad guys walked on it then there were consequences don't need that there we go so now with me being able to walk on it I can only assume that means that um, mobs and animals walking on it um, will also not revert it to its dried out state. So then I ask myself, well what's the point of going to all this trouble of actually building a farm thing with, you know, a field with a fence? Because if the fence isn't necessary to keep mobs off from trampling it, then the fence is just there for decoration, and it's more trouble than it's worth? Yeah, well, whatever. I'll get over it. I always do. Peace.